something yeah. to be very, very enthusiastic about today's show. So energy, energy. I can't wait. I hope they keep it up and I hope they keep up the energy and everything. Okay. Exactly. Let's so start let's with Yen. Yen. All right. It says here that you like dancing Britney Spears type songs. Don't worry. We won't ask steps. you to uh, sample. Why not? Oh, we will? <laughs> Why not? Her classmates are um, a bit eager. Do, would you? That. Do you mind? No, I uh, <laughs> wag, wag, wag. Okay. If she wins, she will. And tell us about being an editor-in-chief of The Flint. What's um, that experience like? Okay. Being, being an editor-in-chief of The Flint is really a hard mm -hmm. pass. Mm -hmm. You have to be an all-around editor, a writer. Right. You have mm -hmm. to do all the tasks, everything. So ah. it's a lot of hard work. Okay, but it looks like she's having fun. Yes. She looks like she's having a lot of fun. She can balance everything out, and that's what's important. That's right. Good okay, Wendy or Wing. Wing, right? Okay, tell us more about your school, Enverga University Foundation in Candelaria, Quezon. Well, um, Enverga University, Candelaria, is the youngest among the branches of Manuelis Enverga. How, how many are there? How many? Five. Wait, there are five, five branches. Oh, my gosh. I see, okay. okay. And this is how old, your school, since it's the youngest? Eight. Eight. Only? Eight, eight, wow. Eight. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Let's get to know Leonard. Leonard, Leonard. how are you doing? Fine. Okay. He's Tell us more fine. about your school. Uh, in our school, we are having vocational and engineering courses. Mm -hmm. What type of courses what are you? What type of courses do you, does your school have? Engineering. Engineering. Mm -hmm. And one day you would want to become a civil engineer. A civil engineer. Mm -hmm. Okay. What brought about the interest in civil engineering? Want to construct. Mm -hmm buildings and some... And bridges. Yes. Wow. Ooh. Very admirable. Very admirable. Who knows one day we may see one of his creations up okay, in the Okay, I hope okay. so. Thank you, Leonard. Moving right. on. And uh, from contestant. Regional Science High School, Olongapo, we have Brian. Brian, tell us more about your school, all the way from Olongapo. Well, it's a cute uh, high school nestled in the hills of Subi. Uh-huh. Okay, and uh, your ambition is to become a surgeon one day, Ooh, right? That's right. tough. Specializing in uh, what? Do you have an idea at this uh, point in time? This Brain early? surgery? Well, not yet. Anything goes as long as it's cutting up somebody. <laughs> so, uh, as long as it's cutting up somebody. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, All right. I'll, look, I'll look him up when I'll We be. will look him up. <laughs> yeah, definitely we'll look him up. Okay, let's explain the contest to our uh, contestants here. You have a starting capital of 100 points. Let's see that. There you oh, go. Just like point. magic. And of course, whoever scores the highest at the end of the contest wins the game. And we have five quizzes, namely... Okay, our five quizzes are Password, Picture Puzzle, Think Tac Toe, Blockbusters, and Megabytes. And today's winner will go home with 12,000 pesos plus a 20-inch color television set. And our non-winners will, will as well go home with 1,200 200 pesos each. All right, okay. so there you go. So, you guys are ready? They're ready? They're ready. Okay. Okay, keep going. And up. as they're ready, we're going to take a really short break, and then we'll stretch those mental muscles with the first quiz. It's called Password. Password. Please stick with us right here on the, the Digital LG Quiz. Quiz. Number one ko Popeye. Popeye the Sailor Man. Tutu. Number one, yung Sunday nights ng araw yung. Chinese Angels. Nako favorite ko talaga yon. Ako iniimagine ko si Farah ko. Nako nagroll playing pa kami na ng mga pinsan ko. I played Kate Jackson. Yung mga bida sa katapusan. Parati nilang tinatalo yung mga masasama. Every time na nga na nag-reunion kami sa bahay ng lola ko, buong angka namin nanonood ng television. Yung panonood ng TV noong araw, sama-sama kami. Isang grupo kami, kaya pare-pareho yung programa ang gusto namin. Kasi lahat pala ng tao nanonood noon, parang hindi ako makapaniwala na kasama na nila ako. Sa 
Celebrating 50 years of broadcast excellence with Johnson's Pure Essentials Shine Free Face Powder. Ipinahiya ni Rebecca si Andrea sa eskwela. Ayun, si Andrea! Anak siya sa labas ng daddy ko which makes me anak sa loob. <laughs> at nagbigay babala. May girlfriend din si Jason. Oo, at ako ang girlfriend. Hanggang sa kaarawan ni Andrea. Magbe-birthday si Andrea. It will be fun. Are you actually throwing a party for that girl? Imbitado nga tayo eh. Parang ayoko pumunta sa birthday ni Andrea eh. Hihiyain siya ni Rebecca. Don't enjoy kami sa party. Why do I get the feeling you don't say? Happy birthday. Ngunit lalo nang napalapit si Jason kay Andrea. Kanino ba rin yun? Jason, ang ganda. Sinabi siya, buhay rin ko si Jason. Si Rebecca, girlfriend mo siya. Ayaw akong manggulo sa inyong dalawa. Pagbihin ko lang siya. Nothing more, nothing less. Wala naman daw kay relasyon. He is mine! At lalong ikagagalit ni Rebecca. Sa kanang sampi, ang pan! Umulan man o umaraw, subaybayan tuwing lunes, alas 9.30 ng gabi. That's right. Okay, we're about to begin our first round. Time to get those mind machines in Whoa. gear with our first quiz called Password. Okay, as you all know, players, this is Password, and it's just you against our lunar module clock. That's so right. No need to use your joysticks just yet. So you can relax your hands. I'd like to remind you that at this point, whoever wins the contest has an outright berth to the monthly finals. Whoever scores 270 points or higher, if you're the second placer gets a wild card entry. Wow. Right. Okay, That's just great. a reminder to our students, mm -hmm. to our players, that right. after a clue is read, you must either give an answer or say pass so that we can immediately move on to the next clue. That's right. And only one answer per clue. Okay, so uh, the contest goes this way. I'll give you a series of five clues within 30 seconds. You have to give an answer. If you get it on the first clue, I'll give you 50 points. On the last, that's 10 points for you. Okay? All right. Okay. Just I a reminder to everyone for their information. Mm -hmm. Our players drew lots before the start of the show to determine which player got Get which, which password. question. Exactly. Okay? okay. We start out with Yen. Yes. Are you ready, Yen? Yes. Okay. And because we just celebrated Philippine independence a few days ago, yes. the theme for this week's password, countries that were also former colonies of Spain. Ah. Okay. Let's get started. All right. All right. Yen, are you ready? Yes. Yes, yeah, she's ready. Here's right. your first clue. It gained independence from Spain in 1824, and today it is the largest Spanish-speaking country in the world. Mexico. Mexico. Right. Wow, on the first clue. Yeah. Good job, Yen. Good job. For the benefit of everyone, here are the other clues. Its current president is Ernesto de Dilio. Mm -hmm. It hosts the 1968 Olympic Games. It was once home to the Aztec Empire, and its capital is Mexico City. And you got it, it's Mexico. Mexico, right. okay, good job. That's 50 points for you. <laughs> Wang, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Timer starts after I read the first clue. It is the largest nation in Central America mm -hmm. and gained independence from Spain in 1821. Peru. Its capital is Managua. Venezuela. It was once ruled by Anastasio Somoza. Bolivia. It is home to the Sandinistas. Mm. Pass. Um, it was named for Nicarao, an early tribal leader. Pass. We go back to the first one. It is the largest nation in Central America and gained independence from Spain in 1821. Venezuela. Chile. Okay, I'm sorry, time's up. The answer is Nicaragua. 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 That was a tough one, but you were giving the answers as quickly as you could yes. and should. That was great. Fast thinking. Good for okay. you. Don't worry, Wendy. Wendy. This is just the first round, okay? It's easy to catch up in the following rounds. All right, okay. let's move on to Lonard. Okay, here's your first clue. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, he's ready. All right. It became independent from Spain in, in 1898 following the Spanish-American War. Cuba. Cuba. Correct. On the first clue wow. also. Band is playing. Wow. Nice beat. Okay. Yeah. Good <laughs> job, Leonard. Excellent. excellent. Here are the other clues for the benefit of everyone else. It is the largest island in the Antilles. Archipelago. Archipelago. It is mm -hmm. the only communist state in the Americas. Its capital is Havana, Havana, and it is ruled by Fidel Castro, and it's Cuba. Cuba. Thank you. Okay. That was great. Good job, Leonard. All right, let's move on to Brian. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, ready. he's ready. 
It got its name from the Spanish word for silver. Argentina. Argentina, also on the first clue. Right. Our players are up to speed on the Spanish colonies. Okay, that's 50 points for you, Brian. Good job for the benefit of our audience. Here are the other clues. It is the second largest country in Latin America. In 1982, it fought a war with Britain over the Falkland Islands. Its capital is Buenos Aires, and finally, it cried for... Evita Peron. <laughs> Argentina. Very yeah. good. All right, Brian, good job. Okay, so our players did very well in the first round. Not they bad, sure not did. bad at all. Let's get us uh, an update on their scores with a special scoreboard. Okay, from Don Alejandro Ross's Senior Vocational High School with 150 points, it's Yen. All right, doing a good job giving her uh, answers really quickly from Enverga University Foundation in Candelaria. Kezdon, we have 100 points for Wang. All right, Wang, keep it up, keep it up. All right, keep that energy, <laughs> Wang. Yes, from Nueva Ecija, University of Science and Technology, with 150 points, it's Lonard. Lonard, all right. All right, man. And finally, getting it on the first clue, we have Brian from Regional Science High School, along with 150 points. Oh, wow. wow. I can tell it's going to be a really, really tough contest. How exciting. Oh, I know. Great. Okay, but uh, since the excitement is so high, we're going to have to take a break. Really, really quick break, right? Just a quick one. Right. And when we come back, we are going to have the second quiz, and it's called yeah. Picture Puzzle. Picture Puzzle. All, All right. right. Stick so, with us right here on The, the Digital, Digital LG Quiz. quiz. want to be tied down to an eight-hour desk job. I became an events planner which involves organizing and coordinating people. You would think it was ng oras ni Kim sa trabaho niya, pero teka muna. She's also a volunteer firefighter and emergency medical technician. Bata pa ako, I already wanted to be a firefighter. In a man's world, kailangan i-prove mo na kaya mo. Every day pag ko, I say, I love what I do. Like Kimberly Tan, more women are out there breaking new ground, making a difference. Para sa akin, paganda ng paganda ang buhay. Life gets better and better was brought to you by Sun Silk Nutrient Shampoo. Okay, everyone. Welcome back to the Digital LG Quiz. That's More right. excitement. Okay, this is round two of our 24th weekly championship. Okay, and this is our okay. second quiz. It's called Picture Puzzle. It's Picture Puzzle. Right, Right there you, you go. are. Okay, and uh, after going solo in the previous round, right now you guys are going to be competing against each other as well as our future quizzes mm -hmm. today. Right. And you'll be using your joysticks. So why don't we test those out? Go ahead, Yen. All right, Go works ahead. perfectly. Wang. Wang. Leonard and Brian Gunnett. All right, let's talk about picture puzzle. Hidden here in our gallery behind us are six pictures or portraits of famous people, living or dead, fictional or real. And your mission is to identify them through one single solitary clue. Very simple. Yes, and they gained lasting fame in the following categories. History, science and technology, pop culture, sports, the arts, plus politics and current events. There you go. Even while we're in the middle of reading the question, you can buzz in if you happen to know the answer. Follow your instincts. Who knows? You may get the right answer, right? Right. Okay, correct answers are worth 30 points. And mm -hmm. let's get started. No deductions for wrong answers, so keep those educated guesses coming. Let's start out with wings. Start out with a category. Go ahead. Science and technology. Science and technology. Here we go. In the original scale he devised in 1742, the value zero was the boiling point of water. Go ahead, Brian. Andre Celsius. Exactly. Celsius. Good. It's interesting to note that he was actually a Swedish astronomer. <clears throat> and he's talking about temperature. But anyway, good job, Brian. You have control. Take it. 
Well, I choose number one, history. Okay, number history. One, history. In 1937, she attempted the first round-the-world flight via the equator. Go ahead, Brian. Amelia Earhart. Amelia yeah. Earhart. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, to repeat the question, since you got in the middle. Mm -hmm. In 1937, she attempted the first round-the-world flight via the equator, but her plane mysteriously disappeared after takeoff from New Guinea. Mm -hmm. Okay, Amelia, Amelia Earhart. Earhart. First, first woman to fly solo. solo. Across the Atlantic. There you go. Brian, you still have control. Take it. Well, I choose number three. Culture. Okay. Pop culture. Here we go. Born Robert Zimmerman. This singer, songwriter, and guitarist was the most influential voice of the protest era of the early 60s. Go ahead, Brian. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Good job. He's taking it all the way. Yeah. To continue, most influential voice of the protest era of the early 60s who said, the answer is blowing, blowing in, in the, the wind. wind. Exactly, nice Bob Dylan. All right, Brian, take it. Well, next I choose number four, sports. Number four, number sports. Four, sports. All right, there you go. In 1968, he became the first black player to capture a major men's tennis tournament by winning the U.S. Go ahead, Brian. Arthur Ashe. Arthur Ashe, Arthur Ashe. exactly. <laughs> won the U.S. Open. Mm. He was exposed to the AIDS virus during heart surgery and died in 1993. A Thank great you. loss to the tennis world, definitely. Right, Tragedy. Okay. okay, Brian, go ahead. You have control. Other players. Well, listen, if you know the answer. I choose number five, the arts. The arts. All right, here we go. When he wrote Almanac for Malinenus, he did not use his pseudonym, Quijano de Manila. Five seconds. Go ahead. Uh, no deductions for wrong answers. Take a wild guess. Nick Joaquin. Nick Joaquin yes. is a good guess, yeah. What a good guess. Wow. Galing, galing naman. Okay, Almanac for Manilenios. That's the title. And he did use his pseudonym, Quijano de Manila, Nick Joaquin. Brian, we have, uh, you have control. So well, I have one more. Question. Politics and current events. Okay. Okay, this is for everyone. Try to try to get an answer in. Mm -hmm. This labor leader was awarded the Nobel Prize, Nobel Peace Prize in. Go ahead, yeah. Coffee Annan. I'm sorry, not Coffee Annan. No. Okay, to continue. continue the question, this labor leader was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1983 and became president of Poland in. Go ahead, Brian. Lech Walesa. Exactly, yeah. Lech Walesa. <laughs> Okay, so I think uh, nice. this is a first in the history of the Digital LG quiz that he actually got all the answers in the picture puzzle. Uh, let's recap the okay. answers that Brian got. Go ahead, all Eugene. Right. From the category history, we have Amelia Earhart. First woman to fly solo. Mm -hmm. okay. Science and technology, we have Anders Celsius. Yes, for pop, pop culture, we have Bob Dylan. Blowing in the wind. For sports, we have Arthur Ashe. Yes, the arts, we have Nick Joaquin. And finally, for politics and current events, we have Lech Walesa. Mm -hmm. Very good job, Brian. The other players, don't worry. It's going to be easy to catch up in the next few rounds. We have three more quizzes to go, but let's get an update on this course, Regine. Okay, from Don Alejandro Rosa Senior Vocational High School with 150 points, it's Yen. Yen. Hi, girl, come on. All right, from Enverga University Foundation, Candelari has on 100 points for Wang. Next up, we have 150 points for Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology with Lonar. All right. And grabbing an early lead from Regional Science High School in Olongapo, 330 points for Brian. There right. you have it. Okay, let's nice find out how our contestants do against flying saucers. As right. Behind us, we have <laughs> their spaceships headed towards their destination, as you can see. There you okay, go. Okay, nice. Okay, let's find out how they do against flying saucers when we come back right here on the, the Digital, Digital LG Quiz. Quiz.
be a software designer. In demand yan. So I need computer-based education. Ako, engineer. At sa on-the-job training pa lang, may edge na ako. Cyber Cafe owner. Yung course ko sa AMA, magagamit ko. One school prepares the youth for the future. AMA Computer College. May global affiliations to. Premier education partner pa ng Microsoft. Kaya ang education, world class. AMA Computer College. Start your future here. Quiz. Mm -hmm. Okay, speaking of Independence Day, we talked about that earlier when we introduced the show. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, the film, remember there were flying saucers there? Well, we have them right here in the studio. They're back. They're back. Okay, there where they are. are they? They're okay, this is Think Tac Toe with Think the flying saucer. There oh, they are. There they are. This is where our players play heroes by protecting us from those <laughs> alien. Alien invaders, yes. right? Numbered one to nine, armed with a question. Armed with a question, and of <laughs> course, if you answer the question cor correctly, you have captured that flying saucer, and you know it's yours because it will bear your battle color. For Yen, it's blue. For Wang, it's red. Leonard, orange, and for Brian, it's going to be green. And that's ten points for every correct answer. All right. Okay. So same answering protocol as in our previous rounds. Mm -hmm. Our players can gun their joysticks even while a question is being read. Shoot and down that saucer. No deductions for incorrect answers. That's so right. Keep those educated guesses, guesses coming. coming. And your ultimate goal, players, is of course to get three in a row, straight across, straight down, or diagonally. And if you do that, I'll give you 50 points, and the round is yours. We'll end it right there. Playing time for this game is five minutes. A buzzer will sound if we have one minute to go. We start out with... Wang. Wang, take it. Choose a number. Number five. Number five. From the category general knowledge, a crayon is composed of either chalk or charcoal, and what other oily substance? Mm -hmm. Five seconds. Talking about a crayon here. Yeah, crayon. The answer? Okay, the other oily substance was wax. Wax. Yes, that's the other substance. Wax. Okay. Okay. Some questions are actually simpler than they seem, so you should follow your instincts. Then again, we may have some trick questions, so it's also good to be careful. All right. Go ahead, Wendy. Please choose again. One. Number one. Category animals. Here we go. A cow cannot be milked until she has done what? A cow cannot be milked until she has done what? Go ahead, Brian. Until she's given birth. Exactly, given birth. Yeah. Until she has given birth to, of course, a calf. Okay, Brian, you have control. Choose a flying saucer. Well, I choose number two. Number two. Number you want two. to go straight across. Go ahead. From the category landmarks, in what American state will you find the Grand Canyon? Go ahead, Brian. Colorado. Not Colorado. Oh. Good try, though. Don't worry. No deductions for wrong answers. Players. <laughs> Landmarks. Go, Yen. Denmark. I'm sorry, no. No. Go ahead, Wang. Leonard. Wild guess. Where is the Grand Canyon? Grand Canyon. Anyone? Time's up. The answer, Regine. Arizona. Arizona. Sayang. Arizona. Okay, Sayang. Asige. Okay. Next. Arizona, the name uh, came from Arid Zone because it's really hot there. Okay, Brian, go ahead, choose. Well, I choose number four. Okay, who wants to go straight down? We have games and leisure. Here we go. Duncan Master is the international title given to an expert of what up and down toy? Go ahead, Brian. A yo yo. A yo yo. yo. 
course, after Donald Duncan, the American who popularized the toy in the 1930s. Of course, this is a Filipino invention, the yo-yo. Was used as a weapon before. Really? Yes, imagine dying <laughs> by the yo-yo. Okay, Brian, go ahead, choose. Well, number, number seven. Of course, number seven. He wants to go number straight down. Number seven from the category computer science. Players, try to intercept if you can. Listen up. What term is given to an error in a program or in a computer? Go, Brian. Bug? A bug or bug. a glitch. A glitch. He's got it straight down. Wow, we've got a think tac toe. A think tac toe right? right there. Uh -huh. right. Okay, so we're going to give him 50 points. There you have it, right there on our board. Green is the color of the day. And that ends the round. Okay, so there you have it. Wow. Let's get an update on the scores, Regine. Okay, this ends the round. Okay, from Don Alejandro Rosa Senior Vocational High School with 150 points. It's Yen. Big yes. round of applause. Keep those Come answers on, yes. coming. And then from Enverga University Foundation in Candelaria, Quezon, we have 100 points for Wang. Come on, Wang. Try to steal. All right. Okay, next up from Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology, we have 150 points for Lanar. All right. And finally, still in the lead from Regional Science High School, Olongapo, 410 wow. points for Brian. That's awesome. Whoa. Setting records here on the digital. I know, I know. Quiz. So uh, that was a really exciting round. We learned Absolutely. a lot of new things. When we come back, as I always say, bring, bring out, out the, the popcorn, the tumpaklon, or whatever you want, lanzones. We are going to have... Blockbusters. Exactly, Don't blockbusters. <laughs> or remote. Or the digital LZ quiz. We'll be right back. <laughs> I've been taking Glutafos daily since my student days. Glutafos has helped keep my brain alert. That's why I was confident I could pass the bar. And I did, with flying colors. Every day before your brain works hard, take Glutafos, the brain vitamin. Glutafos contains nutrients naturally found in your body. Glutafos enhances mental alertness and memory recall. My work needs intense concentration. To maximize my brain potential, I still take Glutafos every day. Sino mang magsabing nasyonalismo ay lipas na, ay dapat pong mag-isip ng makalawa. Sa bagong milenyo at globalisasyon, nasyonalismo ay lalong dapat iumabong. Nasyonalismo o pagkamakabayan, mahalaga sa lahat ng panahon. Ito ang dakilang pamana sa bawat henerasyon. Isang kampanya sa pagtataguyod ng ugali at kaisipang Pilipino. quizzes here on the Digital LG Quiz. That's right. This is the round called mm. Blockbusters. We've cleared the board of all our flying saucers, and now we're going to have film clips rolling in. Film clips rolling in. <laughs> now, if you're rolling. regular... Uh, it's like crawling. <laughs> crawling in. Okay. Rolling is like there this. There you okay, go. Moving That's on. my mistake. Okay. <laughs> if you're a regular patron, you know that we'll be showing six notable film clips, mm -hmm. old and not so old, and at right. the end, end of each... Um, Movie, movie, clip, right? movie clip, we'll be popping a question, okay? Popping a question. So every correct answer is worth 30 points a mm -hmm. pop. All right, exactly. And there are no deductions for wrong answers, so keep those guesses coming. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you ready? <clears throat> we shall roll. Film clip number one. Taste the popcorn, okay? Let's <laughs> go. One of the best musicals of all time, An American in Paris, showcases anew the charm and talent of the great Gene Kelly. Here he plays a struggling painter who's torn between a wealthy heiress and a young lady in the city of a romance. Making this 1951 Oscar-winning movie mm -hmm. truly memorable are such timeless tunes like I Got Rhythm, Embraceable You, and Our Love Is Here To Stay. The question, name the American musical genius who composed those songs. That's a <coughs> tough one to start out the round. The answer, mm -hmm. George Gershwin. George uh, Gershwin. George. Georgie, Georgie. Georgie, okay. Georgie. Embrace of all you. Let's see how you well you embrace. Film clip number two. I'm a poet. Yeah. 
Very <laughs> good. Yeah. Very good. You bet. Okay. Tom Hanks won his first Oscar Best Actor Award in this 1993 film where he portrays Andrew Beckett, a gay lawyer stricken with AIDS. When he is fired from his prestigious law firm, he decides to sue. And the only one who'll take on his case is Joe Miller, a homophobic ambulance-chasing ambulance lawyer played by Denzel Washington. Mm -hmm. mm. Give the title of this film that gives a sensitive and heartfelt look at the effect of AIDS on the family, friends, and the people who interact with an AIDS victim. Clue. It is also the name of the city of brotherly love where the movie is set. Go ahead, Brian. Philadelphia. Philadelphia. That's the name of the film. With a great soundtrack, by the way. Oh, yes. And great it's a very soundtrack. beautiful film. Nicely mm. made. All right. So, uh, good job. Philadelphia. There you go. Tom Hanks, his first Oscar. His second one, of course, was Forrest Gump. Okay, let's roll the next film clip. Film. Number three. Jenny. The film was bouncing, okay. you saw that? Yeah. It was bouncing Not along. rolling in, okay. Yes. The Jungle Book, a film fantasy fans of all, all ages, mm -hmm. okay? It's the story of Mowgli, a boy raised by wolves in the jungles of India and befriended by a laid-back bear named Baloo, Baloo, who joins him in his adventures interspersed with a load of clever songs. Question. This 1967 version and all other Jungle Book films are based on the stories of which go ahead? Roger Kipling. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Roger Kipling. All right, Brian. Good. There you go. Jungle Book is by the English writer, born in Bombay, India. His name is Rudyard Kipling. That's a film for fantasy fans of all ages. Jungle Book. Good job, Brian. Let's roll the next film clip. Number four. Bounce it. Oh, it's a ball. There you go. Roll them. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. mm. Hi! Hi. <laughs> In 1984, <laughs> Ralph Macchio became an instant celebrity hero by way of Karate Kid. <laughs> Kinda. It's about a new kid in town named Daniel who's tormented by bullies until a handyman named Miyagi or Mr. Mm -hmm. Miyagi, mm -hmm. played by Pat Morita, teaches him about self-confidence, patience, waxing cars, and karate. Right. Plus being true to oneself. That's most important. Question, what is the momentous theme song of this heartwarming Go movie? ahead, Brian. The Glory of Love. I'm sorry, not The Glory of Love. That's in the second one right. by Peter Cetera. Go ahead, continue mm. the question. Okay, what is the momentous theme song of this heartwarming movie that also shows there's more to karate than just violence? Timer. Five seconds. Although Glory of Love is more uh, well-known as the Karate Kid right. uh, theme, but it That's came out I in thought. the second one. The answer? Moment of Truth, performed by Survivor. Na, 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 can you sing na, na, it? Na, 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 no, I can hum it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. Okay, by Survivor, Moment of Truth. All right, let's roll the next film clip, number five. Let's oh, bounce it. <laughs> Okay. Another movie hero, but of the comic kind, hit the big screen in 1988 with Naked Gun. Naked Gun. Here, Leslie Nielsen stars as Frank Drebin, the toughest and clumsiest cop in the universe. <laughs> one filled with countless gags, hilarious puns, and outrageous characters. One of them is Nordberg, played by a former sports superstar who would later become the central character of a sensational and controversial true to life go ahead brian oj simpson exactly Orenthal james simpson yeah. okay let me complete that one of them is nordberg played by a former sports superstar who would later become the central character of a sensational and controversial true to life crime story O.J. Simpson, the juice. The juice. The juice. <laughs> okay, let's roll the last film clip in our mini film fest. Take it, Regine. Number six. Go for it. Bounce it. Oh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> in 1981, Sharon Conetta and Gabby Concepcion mm -hmm. were reunited in Movie Wonderland with Baya. P.S. I love you. Wow, let me watch this first. They play two people destined to be together despite the objections of their respective parents, portrayed by Butz Anton Roa and Eddie Garcia, whose own teenage love affair from long ago ended in bitter heartache. Aww. Question. The film's title theme song was created by which noted composer? 
love you. <laughs> Go ahead, Brian. Benny Saturno. I'm sorry, not Benny Saturno. No. Good try, though. Good guess. Go ahead, Wang. Ray Valera. I'm sorry, not Ray Valera. That would be Mr. Uh, DJ. Yen. Leonard. Leonard. Yen. Very well-known composer. Which composer is this? You usually think about movie theme, and he's probably the one who composed it. Go, Yen. Pancho Valdez. I'm sorry, no, no. not Pancho Valdez. Would you like to try that? Leonard. Leonard. Take a stab at it. Come on. <clears throat> Just try. Anyone? No guess? Okay, no guess. time's up. Okay, the, answer. the answer is George Canseco. George Canseco. There you go. We have a couple yes. of reactions from the audience there. And oh. I think Ma'am knew the answer, George Canseco. But of course, there's no coaching in this uh, contest. So there's not. no way she could have gotten the answer to the players. So anyway. Now, let's do a recap mm. of the scores. Okay. Of our excellent players today. All right. Start Ma it off. Don Alejandro Rosas, Senior Vocational High School with 150 points. Big round of applause for Yen. All right. From Enverga University Foundation, Candelaria Quezon, 100 points for Wendy. Yeah. From Nueva Ecea University of Science and Technology with 150 points, it's Lonard. That's right. And finally, with 500 points from Regional Science High School in Olongapo, we have Brian. Go, Brian. All right. Of course, the lead of Brian is still not insurmountable. That's not an insurmountable mm -hmm. lead. We have one more quiz left, and it's called Megabytes. Megabytes. Actually, it's the dreaded Megabytes, and you'll find out why it's called the dreaded Megabytes when we return here on the, the Digital, Digital LG Quiz. quiz. Everything turns digital and television becomes Cerebro. The Digital LG Quiz. Do you qualify? If you're a high school sophomore or junior in a public or private school with an average grade of 85 up, submit a certified true copy of your grades and endorsement letters from your class advisor and school principal and brush up on all your subjects. Every school should send one official contestant and an alternate. Over 4 million pesos worth of cash, scholarships, and appliances are at stake for students and their schools. Register now at Alta Production, Sagittarius Building, HB De La Costa Street, Makati City. Or, or contact Christy or Maan at 813-0598 or 818-4189 or page number 141-245-901. The Digital LG Quiz. This is the trend of the future. Only from the Philippines' best, GMA. This portion is brought to you by AMA Computer College. Welcome back to the Digital LG Quiz. Right. We will find out in a few moments who will make it to our eighth monthly showdown, and that's the 12,000 peso question. I can't wait. It's our last mm -hmm. quiz already. I know, I know. And, and it's, it's called, called Megabytes. Megabytes. There you okay. go. Okay, there they are rolling in. Okay, nine tough questions loaded into nine computer chips, each representing a particular category. Right. Where are they? They're coming in soon. As there you know, seven of the chips are worth... 70 uh, are worth 30 points right. each but somewhere hidden in the board are two digital edge chips that are double in value 60 big points 60 big points that's right and this time there's a catch okay we're giving away big points but we can also take away big points because we're right. giving deductions for wrong answers oh, for no. the regular chip worth 30 points we're taking away 10 for the digital edge chip however since there are only two we are taking away the entire 60 points 
Ah. Okay. Okay, well, so lots of tragedies involved there. So it's a matter of no gluts, no glory. Exactly. No sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Because the player who uncovers any of the two digital edge chips has the option to either pass or play before mm -hmm. the question is revealed. Right. If that player chooses the two edge Start out with Wang. Wang, please choose the first category. One human body. The human body. Human body. Here we go. The flow. The once again, the four blood types known as A, B, AB, and O are determined by the presence in the body's red blood cells of what substances? Go ahead, Wang. Antigen. Antigens. Antigen. Good job. All right, Wang. Good. Please All choose right. the next category. Um. Five, science and technology. Okay. Science and technology. In 1900, this German physicist who developed his landmark quantum theory, which won him the 1918 Nobel Prize. Go, Wang. Max Planck. Max Planck. Max Planck. All right. All right. Excellent. Wang, you're on a roll. Choose the next category. Uh, for astronomy. 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 Here we go. If you were to go to the moon today, how many Apollo lunar rover vehicles will you find? Ah. Go, Wang. Take 17. It. I'm sorry, no, not 17. We'll have to take away 10 points, but just 10 points. Good job, though. Keep those guesses coming. How many? Time's up. The answer is six. You have Thanks. the missions Apollo 11 to 17, although as you all know, Apollo 13 did not make it to the moon. They had to return back to Earth. Okay, Wang, you still have control. Take it. Um, art, number three. Okay, number, number three, three, art. Number three, art. Here you go. Okay, the world's largest art gallery is housed in this mammoth museum complex in St. Petersburg, Russia. What is the name of this museum? Okay. That's another tough one. Okay, the answer is Hermitage. Hermitage. You have to walk 24 kilometers to see <laughs> it's nearly 3 million artworks. When wow. we said mammoth, we meant mammoth. Hermitage. <laughs> okay, Wang, you still have control. Go ahead. Eight, history. Okay, Wang, this is a digital edge question worth 60 points if you answer correctly and minus 60 points if you answer incorrectly. I'll give you a few seconds to decide if you'd like to play or pass. Play. Okay. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. There you for go. her courage and her guts. Exactly. Remember, no guts, no glory. No pain, no gain. Here we go. This is for you only, Wang. Listen. In the hierarchy of the Katipunan, the third and highest members were given the code name Bayani. What password was used by this elite Katipunan echelon? What's the password? Go ahead, make a wild guess. Any guess? No? The answer? Rizal. Rizal. Okay That's it. Lang. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, Lang. We still have a few more chips to go. And you so still have control. Worry. Go ahead, Wang. Seven literature. 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 Okay, Wang. This is another digital edge question. You have the option to either pass or play. 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 Go for okay. it. There you go. Hey, you know, we're really proud of you for being so courageous. Very, very proud. It. So all you have to do is listen carefully. The category again is literature. In 1979, American author Alvin Toffler wrote a best-selling book that explores the effects of rapid technological and social change on the individual. Give the title of this book, which also analyzes the forms of society may take in the future. Okay. Title of the book by Alvin Toffler. Any clue? 
You want to guess? You sure? Take a wild guess? No. The answer, okay, the answer you... is future shock. Future shock. Which refers to the psychic stress generated by such change. Future shock. Future shock. Okay, don't worry, Wang. We all admire you for your courage mm -hmm. and your determination. Job well done. She Choose the next control. category. We have three more, and they're all uh, regular chips. Two sports. Sports, here we go. In 1989, he made PBA history by becoming the first rookie to win the most go-ahead, Brian. Benji Paras. Benji Paras. Benji Paras. Benji, or Benancio Paras. Okay, so he's the first rookie who became the MVP. Two awards in one year. MVP and, and uh, rookie, rookie of, of the, of the year. year. Exactly. Brian, you have control. You have two more categories left. Economics and math. Economics, number six. Economics. Economics. Number six. What economic principle states that beyond a certain point, any rate of profit, production, benefits, etc., will fail to increase proportionately to added investment, effort, or skill? Go, Brian. Law of diminishing returns. Law or principle diminishing yeah. returns, exactly. Wow. Yeah, you're awesome. All right, we have one more question. It's under the category math. I'll read it. This is for everyone. I'll read it twice. The math question. Here we go. Pen and paper ready. You'll have 30 seconds to answer, and I'll read it twice. Listen carefully. The sum of three consecutive integers is negative 21. Find the smallest number. Once again, the sum of three consecutive integers is negative 21. Find the smallest number. Time's ticking away. Go, Wang. Negative one. I'm sorry, not negative one. We'll have to take away 10 points. Go ahead. Go ahead, Brian. Negative eight. Negative eight is the negative answer. Negative eight. Wow. Wow. Hey. Okay, so that about does it. All the chips are down. Right, I think we've just set a record here in digital. I do believe so, yes. Let's give a round of applause. We have a record set. Brian has broken all the records. The weekly, the monthly, as well as the quarterly. Let's get an update on the scores, Regine. Okay, from Don Alejandro Ross's Senior Vocational High School with 150 points. Big round of applause, please, for Yen. Good Thank job. you. Thank you Good so job, much Yen. for joining us. And Thank the you. woman we all admire from Enverga University Foundation, Candelaria Quezon, 20 points for Wang. Thank you, Wang. Good job, Wang. You did We're great all proud today. of you. You did great. Okay, now from Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology with 150 points, please put your hands together for Lonard. Lonard, and finally, it is my pleasure from Regional Science High School, Olongapo, 590 big points for Brian. And he is our winner, and he shall move on to the eighth monthly championship. Congratulations, Brian, and all the other players. Job well done. Let's give them all a round of applause. Yes, thank you. Thank you as well to our live studio all audience. All right. Who are so enthusiastic. I'm very fortunate in having two trainers. Ah, two, okay. So I like to call my mom. Wow. And uh, my physics teacher and homeroom advisor, Mrs. Melitona Mirza. There you have it. The two very, very proud ladies beaming with pride, as you can see. Ma'am, please join us here. Any message for Brian? Congratulations, Brian. Uh, stu a student like you makes me proud to be part of the Regional Science High School. Hope you will continue to, to shine and bring more honor to our school. I'm sure he will. Well said, ma'am. Regine, do we have a message? Mommy! Hello, mommy. What do you have to say for your wonderful son today? Okay. <laughs> um, good morning. Even though Brian is a weekly winner today, <laughs> yeah, I'm very proud and thankful, and I would like to thank the Lord Almighty, <laughs> the Lord Almighty, for giving me a son like Brian. All right. uh, secondly, mm -hmm. I would like to thank the LG Collins mm -hmm. Company for staging a quiz show like this, uh, giving an opportunity to students. Uh, to show off their talents and be recognized. All right. 
Yeah. Lastly, to my son, Brian. Yes. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. There you go. Proud mom and uh. Brian. There you go. Okay, at this point, we'd like to call in our representative from LG Electronics. We have Rale Yu. Mr. Rale Yu, of course. Senior Manager, Purchasing Department, with a great prize for you, Brian. Check this out. 12,000 pesos. All right, any message for our weekly champion, our 24th weekly champion? Uh, good morning. Uh, in behalf of LG Collins Electronics, I would like to congratulate Brian of Regional Science High School for winning this week's competition. Again, congratulations, Brian. All right, Hi. thank you so much, Mr. Lale Yu. And there you have it, a check worth 12,000. Brian, any words? Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, I would like to thank the Lord God. Lord, you work in mysterious ways, but you are very just. Thank you. And uh, I would like also to thank my brother, Bro, you're very much instrumental. Bro, all right. Well done, Brian. You have a certificate here, and it's with Regine. Yes, I'd like to read this from LG Electronics presents this certificate of participation to Brian Lagasan of Regional Science High School, Olongapo, as the weekly winner of the Digital LG Quiz, given this 17th day of June, year 2000, at GMA Channel 7. Congratulations, Brian. That's for you. And congratulations for breaking the record. 590 points is the highest anyone has ever scored on the Digital LG Quiz. 590 points. Congratulations once again, Brian. Regine, that about does it. Yes. All right. <laughs> keep those thinking caps on and keep sharing LG's commitment to be the best today and in the new millennium. Till next week, I'm Regine Tolentino. Right. And I'm Paolo Bejanis. Remember, it is so cool to be smart. Congratulations, Brian. Congratulations. Let's hear it for Brian. Okay, here we go. Of course, before our audience participation quiz, we'd like to thank Sentinel Plastics Manufacturing Corporation for providing us with the great chairs that our studio audience is sitting on right yes. now. What month do most weddings take place in the Philippines? January. Gen